Okay. So I can see everything. Mm -hmm. So we have 17 likes and we haven't even done anything. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. I like when that happens. So this is what we did. And in case you are curious, I did one of my nails to just see the other color. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just put the other light on because... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Okay, so tiny delay. Mata is saying, awesome. <clears throat> I have to say, I have to say, I, hi Laura, hi David, hi Janet. I like this stuff. That, uh... Lucy, Mercedes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mr. David, Tanya, Laura. All can the fun you, can people. you show me the. Oh, we got D here. Very cool. Ah. Okay, I should take a picture, I know, of your nails. Why would you want to do that? They're fine. Oh, thank you so much. Best channel if you want to have the best and healthiest nails. Thank you. Okay, what do you guys think? This is a week. For this product from Douglas. It's like a UV cured nail polish. It's not really a gel. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Vienna. Awesome. Let me just take a picture here. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Can I see? No. Let's so let's say a dog bites off your pinky and starts developing a mutant finger and a creepy little tail. Are you... Relegated to neutrals for life. Yes, Allison, that's exactly what happens. Allison, I have uh, oh, <coughs> we've yeah, commented yeah, yeah. back and forth. Yeah, yeah so I've, I've oh heard. yeah, how could I forget? <laughs> <laughs> okay. How's the weather there? Very nice. Are you enjoying yes. the sunshine? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, highly recommend. Mm. Is there a store behind by, uh, it's called Douglas? Curious why some, why it's some dude's name. I don't know. Douglas? Yeah, that's just. Maybe Sir Douglas <clears throat> opened the store. Third Douglas? Sir Douglas. Who is yeah. Third Douglas? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna try some Dazzle Dry soon. Ooh, that's coming from David. Are you okay? Wow, yeah. Goodness. And uh, I'm just curious why. Yeah. Maybe for France for a Mother's Day. What? And maybe I could take a train to <laughs> so see. Neutrals. Wow, yeah. What? 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 We're what? in what? France. What? Where are we going to be in France? Yeah, seriously. Damn it. Details. Come on, man. Hello, what do you recommend for a nail fungus? Dermatologist prescribed uh, something I can't even pronounce. Uh, seven days a, a month for four to six months and thought as to what else I could do. <clears throat> well, I can't really uh, comment uh, with medical advice, but um, if you comment on this video, I can send you some links to uh, a podiatrist video that's very interesting. Right? Correct. Yes. So please comment uh, later on, like... Yeah. And we have Jennifer Cleaver. Hi, love your channel. And I believe Jennifer just asked us a question earlier on today, in fact. I don't remember exactly what the question was, but I do remember seeing her there. So we're going to soak it off. And I'm gonna use the, their acetone. If someone wants to cut their <clears throat> living skin, as they put in brackets, mm -hmm. cuticles, which mm -hmm. is the incorrect terminology, but that's mm -hmm. okay. Not mm -hmm. really, uh, but it's live skin. Do you bother explaining to them even when they demand it? Yes, we tell them. No. I yeah, we give them the hard no. We're not going to cut it and explain why. And if they well, really... usually I don't have it because people find me yeah. through uh, other clients that are happy that I don't do it. If you market yourself correctly, then people know. It's almost like if you have a vegan restaurant. Mm -hmm. 
uh, what do you do if people d demand meat? What do you, what do if they demand steaks? Are you gonna cook it for them? No, because that's no. just not what you do. Exactly. Right. And uh, ah yes, and Carolyn has come in. Hi, Anna and MSL, and all. That's one of our lovely Patreon subscribers. Ooh. And we have, of course, uh, Lori Lou, same thing. Uh, the polish looks pretty good on MSL after a week, yeah. still shiny. Honestly, I have... It actually looks better than it, it's um, that the camera shows. Yeah. I, and I did nothing special. I, you know, beat the crap out of my hands as per usual. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's impressive. Yeah, and it held really strong. Um, how do you prevent nail thread, um, neck and threads of the bottle of polish from getting crunchies with dried polish. Yeah, it's better to wipe it. <clears throat> well, it's better when you're putting the brush back in the bottle, not to scrape it. Because mm -hmm. once it's there, it's not really on the bottle, but it's inside of the <clears throat> the, the brush. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult to get it out. Okay, let's try something else here. And while you're doing that, Allison says, um, somebody needs to explain why canine finger amputation is hilarious. I mean, I laughed when the drugs kicked in, <laughs> but trust me, you start wondering why the Yakuza don't start reconsidering their careers. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and we have uh, Rose saying hello. Can I have your hand? Yes, in just a second. Oh here yeah, now he's, uh, yeah. My partner is the perfect heavy handed test subject for products, yeah. I'm sure that Anna says the same about myself when it comes to testing products, as I yeah. am relentless. But you have good nails, so that's that. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, you have strong nails. I appreciate that. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> strong nails. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and we have Nicola, she comes in saying hi, everyone. Patricia. Any thoughts on nail strips, like Dashing Diva, et cetera? Are they, are they any more damaging than just using regular nail polish? They're pretty good, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried the ones from OPI years ago, and they were very, very good. Mm -hmm. The only thing is they they <clears throat> harden up after a while, so they... <clears throat> oh, do you guys me. see, like, check these claws out. Like, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so they become very brittle, and... Um, yeah, but they come off really well and the nail is nice and healthy underneath. Although, so that was the polished strips, right? Mm -hmm. The Dashing Diva, from what I remember, are plastic and I just found that they were like peeling off mm -hmm. the nails. So I'm not a huge fan of the plastic ones because they just peel off, which drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. I pay good money for a gel polish to look like that without lifting by the end of the week. It looks great. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, no, I think so too. They've done really well. <clears throat> so since the beginning, okay. So guys, if you are, if you're doing this on yourself, oh shoot! Like I pulled these ones out because I wanted to use them and I forgot. Yeah, that's fine. So if you're doing this on yourself, what I would recommend is doing um, one hand, waiting, and then doing the other hand because it's impossible to work like this, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. Okay, uh, Anna, is it okay to use carousel all over the nail or should it be used just on the proximal nail fold area? You can use it over the nail. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's impossible to just put it. I just wanna share how the, so we did the little gel overlay with, uh, this one is lifting a little bit. No. No, I, I s smacked it. Oh, Last wait. time. Yeah, a and that's bit. what you're seeing underneath the... Um, yeah, but I think it's just in the nail. Can you guys see? There's like an indent. It's, a, it's one week. <clears throat> Freddy Krueger, thank you. I was kind of thinking what that myself. What do I myself. think of hard gel? Have soak of gel have ruined my nails before? <clears throat> um, I personally don't like how thick you have to apply the hard gel. <clears throat> my God, like why am I losing my voice right now? Okay, so this is four minutes since I started wrapping. <clears throat> oh <my> God. <laughs> Thai dancer claws? Yes. <laughs> I have the little... Okay, so, okay. Do you think it's going to come off? Please, let, let me know. Oh, are you asking me? Five minutes, uh-huh. Let's go. I, I say it uh, comes off. 
Oh, so Shirley and uh, they were good. I took pictures that, uh, or you can go back to the video. So, okay, so it's like this five minutes. Exactly. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh I knew it. my God. I'm so happy. I am, yes. I am happy. <sighs> Look at it. That is awesome. Have you guys seen this anything like this before? And how did the Douglas gel polish last on MSL? Well, as you can see, Shirley, it lasted actually very well. Well, and, she doesn't, uh, she can't see because uh, maybe she tried And it's uh, removing very, very I think it's even amazing. better than manicurist. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Uh, is there a way to stop standard nail polish from thickening? Um, yeah. Don't open it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you have to just keep it um, as tightly closed as possible. Yeah. Yeah, D saying I'm shocked. Yeah, honestly, this is... This reminds me, like, the application, the wearability, <clears throat> and the removal remind me of the manicurist. Yeah. Like, it, top it, to bottom. It, it is a manicurist, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's like uh, yeah, private labeled kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah, you guys, sorry about my voice. I don't know what the heck. I decided to try after you mentioned using it. I will be careful, but the K plus just didn't hack it. That's K plus. Lori Lou. A what? K plus of. Look at this. Like it came off beautifully. Uh, what is the best quick dry nail polish? <clears throat> Dazzle dry. Yeah. Okay, so Can't all of new. this took me six minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, would you use OPI Nail Envy or SE Hard to Resist for nail strengthening? Thanks in advance. No, I don't believe in any strengtheners. Mm. I believe in hardeners, but all those strengtheners don't really work. Uh, might as well just use oil. Mm -hmm. And the oil is much, 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 much more effective than any strengthener on the market. Mm -hmm. uh, Megan, hey hardeners. from Australia. It is nearly 3 a.m. here. Oh my God. Woman, go to sleep. Hardener, yeah. on the other hand, Hardeners, Hardeners. Uh, can be very helpful if your nails are too bendy, but naturally, not so that they're right. damaged, but just too bendy. <sighs> Stayed up for the line. Well, you know what? We really appreciate you taking that time and, you know, sleep depriving yourself just to come hang out with us. Mm -hmm. Lordy, so, lordy. I'm gonna shorten the nails. Are you guys impressed? Oh, oh, I know what I made. Hold on, let me just show you something. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Wow. Uh, what are the top habits, mistakes you see people making that cause nail damage? Buffing the nail. That would definitely be one of them because they want it to look all nice and shiny. So they yeah. buff the, the, the know, nail snot and out of it and terrible and idea. second, um, would be when they are removing the cuticle, especially with e-file, they're filing the nail a lot. Yeah. Or, you know, cutting the living tissue. Yeah, That's, you know, things. another big kind of no-no. Okay, so these are the colors, look. They're not very, these two look very similar on camera, mm -hmm. but this is more beige, like a grayish beige. This is more pink. This is what's on my nails. This is what I have. So this really feels like, like a nail polish really feels like a nail polish. Yeah. I don't know if, if getting it a little bit closer helps. Let, yeah, let it was me know. really thin. Like, I really enjoyed, yeah, and, like, and it's, super thin. It's super thin yeah. looking, m even m much thinner, m m much thinner. M moist. Uh, <laughs> than shellac. <laughs> Have you guys seen my video about the ridges in the, in the thumbs uh, yeah. that I just posted today? It's a 10 minute video. I worked hard on it. I did. I think it's a banger. <laughs> it's a banger. So if you can, you know, watch it, that would be awesome. I mean, if you are interested in it. Mm -hmm. And if you know someone who has a ridge, ridges like that, yeah. please send them the video because we know how to fix it now. Uh... Have you ever used or worked with lanolin as a moisturizer protectant for skin and nails? Yeah, lanolin uh, is a very common ingredient. 
So I think it's like, uh, like an occlusive, really. But yeah, it's very good. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, how long does a nail take to grow out if a damaged over buffed fully from, from the top to bottom? Uh, depends on how big your nail bed is, right? So usually I would say four to seven months. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm thinking of a nickname for my right hand mutant pinky nail, Stumpy. Okay, so the nail is completely gone. Yeah, I think like it's it's you know. Like, but the nail bed is damaged. The the new nail is not growing. I don't think there's a new nail period because the end of the finger is missing. Oh, the whole end of the finger. Yeah, to my understanding, at least. Yeah, but sometimes you still have a nail, no? Well, so I'm if, just, if, I'm just if you chop it right. Okay, hither, I know, but like maybe like. A, piece here of missing no uh, the way i perceive oh. understood it is it's just like you know somewhere around this area oh. kind of so oh that's terrible could be worse though no you could have lost a hand so i guess i was thinking salad finger Ooh. <laughs> I, you know what? Anybody who knows anything about salad fingers, that's some OG, you know, dark humor internet cartoon stuff from like Newgrounds way back in the day. So this removal blew my mind. Yeah. Uh, can nails be soft, bendy, and brittle all at the same time? What no. treatments can work? No, because if you have... For example, a, a piece of a thin glass, you can have it bendy and brittle. Glass is brittle. Uh, a rubber, for example, a very thin layer of very flexible rubber is going to be uh, flexible but not brittle. Uh, it depends how old it is because it does get old and stiff and brittle and then starts crumbling apart sometimes. Yeah, yes. but it's different, different for the nails a little bit. So if it's that brittle, then you need flexibility, not, yeah. If it's, then you need a flexibility. So you need oil, you don't need a hardener. Mm -hmm. Not too many people need hardeners, believe it or not. Uh, from Mandy Shalangalangalang. Hi, I'm using a nail hardener for bendy nails due to medication. Should I still do my oil soaks? Thank you. Yes. Yeah, because the, uh, what the oil does, it doesn't make the nails too flexible it doesn't make them softer it just makes them more more flexible meaning more plasticized so they won't break but it's not gonna make them too flexible there's no way uh lanolin is from sheep and can trigger allergies so it's yeah. on my banned list but it is very good occlusive i haven't seen much to say i haven't seen much to say it's better than vaseline though yeah that's coming from sir devon no, Vaseline is very good too. Oh, and Yasna has just joined. This Hi, is Yasna. why they do after, for example, certain like laser treatments and stuff, they use Vaseline because Vaseline is sits on the outside just protecting the skin. So you can't be allergic to it. A good quality Vaseline is excellent for the skin. Um, I don't know why mm -hmm. people hate on Vaseline so much, but yeah, it's good for a lot of people. A things. lot of people ask for dip powder. So, you know, there is an interesting thing. Uh, children that had olive oil uh, used on their, on their body instead of baby oil developed, there was a study or something, more allergic reactions because the oil brings the allergen into the skin, right? And this is why the, the Vaseline or baby oil seals the skin so they don't um, get... Um, exposed to, you know, um, allergens and things like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here's an excellent question. Uh, Anna, do you think tretinoin retin-A mm -hmm. applied to the hands can ruin the nails? No, I use it all the time on top of my hands. You heard it here. Uh, is it normal to have your nails split or chip when you aren't wearing nail polish? Does this mean I need to condition them or file them more? This is coming from Anna Maria de la Fuente. Uh, can you say it again? Because I... Is it normal to have your nails split or chip when you aren't wearing nail polish? Yeah. Does this mean I need to condition them or yeah. file them more? File them more meaning shorten them? Condition probably yes. 
because you know nail polish is almost like a cast let's say if you if you're if you have a weak bones or something having a cast is not really going to strengthen your bones right so um strengthening the natural nail uh is wearing nail polish basically does not strengthen the nail it just kind of protects uh, well, not protect. It's, it's it provides a layer, but it's, the the minute you take it off, it's going to be uh, damaged again, and <clears throat> it can contribute to surface damage. So it's like two steps forward and three steps back sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, both. Uh, my nails hardly grew since January. What may be wrong? They probably grew. It's just that they're breaking on the ends. Well, nothing was mentioned about that other than that this person's well, nails probably... have hardly grown since January. No, they, they grow. It's just sometimes the ends break, so we think that they're not growing. <clears throat> uh, what grit uh, file is best to use on natural nail that is damaged? I uh, like to shorten the nails. Uh, as usual, 180 grit, 240. Yeah. And then you can just rub a buffer, like here, hold on. Use a soft buffer, and then just smooth the edges, like this, like so. Nail oh. skirts are so annoying. I yeah. guess they mm -hmm. are. Someone was asking about the dip, the products. Dip, dip, I'm not chip. personally a huge fan because they age very quickly. They are difficult to soak off. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very difficult to file. They're very, very hard. So for what I do, I don't like them. Mm -hmm. Nothing too crazy. And you know, I just don't like their marketing that they're saying that it's, I don't know, somehow it has minerals and it's, it, it's your nails eat the minerals, I guess, and get healthier. No, it doesn't happen that way. It's just a acrylic powder, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, dip feels excessive for what most people need. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Especially short natural nails. Mm -hmm. Also in the same vein of questions, I was helping my dad move and I banged my nails a lot and they all split, delaminated. The ends, just more oil soaks, question mark. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. And just using a gentle, um, cleansers when you're washing your hands you don't have to use a very harsh soaps um you know avoid like warm baths soaking your hands for an extended period of time that's so basically yeah. all the fun stuff in life yeah gotcha don't do that millions of tiny mouths on the nail plate to eat calcium and biotin <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah um well i think there's some conversation going going on between a few people here but uh uh, also, I use the Vanny Cream Facial Cleanser on my hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so really, if I just want to color and not massively long nails, dip is a bit extra and dazzle dry is enough? Question mark. I really don't believe in <clears throat> any of these enhancements products to be used for strength. I really don't. These things should be used for decoration. Decorative purposes. And yeah, and not strength. Because if you are hard on your nails, guess what? And you have something stuck to your nail, as you are like banging your nails, it's, the nail is going to get pulled up by the product, right? Because mm -hmm. the product is like uh, glued to your nail. So if you're trying to, like if you're trying to pull it off by being hard on your nails, you're gonna pull off layers of your nail, and then when you take it off, the nails are going to be very damaged. So, and on top of it, a lot of times people um, excessively file the nails before application of, of these products, and then to remove them, they just pry it off, and mm -hmm. so that causes a lot of damage, so. Uh, Mercedes says, my nails look much better because of the oil soaks right now. My biggest issue is that my nails break too far down the side is the only reason for this the fact that i may have been filing incorrectly could be no. mm -hmm. yeah i would have to see the pictures if you guys are interested and want to send me pictures actually mercedes can send them to us via patreon ah oh. yeah so the for the patreon yes. subscribers guys i i you know yep. i'll help you yeah so just up. send me a picture but just email me the picture and Correct. the pictures and and um questions and mm. i'll make a little special video for you 
but yeah, if you guys are interested, then I have this service called and it's nail uh, advice. And it's nail advice, and it's on our website, the salonlife.ca, and you go to services, and it's 25 euros. So then I look at the pictures, I explain what I see, mm. answer your questions, and you get a really cool personalized use. video. Yeah, yeah. And my nails are way better from the pics you saw, and that's coming from uh, Megan. So super awesome, oh, glad great, to see. Great. Uh, I have thin, bendy nails. I like to polish, but it comes off within a few hours. Can my peeled can be peeled off as one piece, and underneath are layers of my nail. Nail hardener makes my nails break off. What to do? Without seeing your nails, it's very, very difficult for yeah. me to tell. And, uh, babe, <clears throat> Maybe your here. nails are damaged, or I don't know, filed or buffed or something. Yeah. I don't know. Peeling of the nail, so obviously I don't know. That's difficult because if the product is peeling off with mm -hmm. your nail, that means that it was bonded properly. Mm -hmm. But your layer, your nail is very weak, right? So it's like not connected to the layers of the natural nails to each other. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why that is. Uh, Nicole asks, is the Patreon mainly for professionals or can anyone join? Anyone can join. Yeah, there's two tiers. If you yep. would like to, uh, there was one for professionals and one for for regular people, for normal people. <laughs> and uh, Maria is asking, is that a diamond nail bit? Yes, this Correct. is a diamond medium <clears throat> bit. And used at a very, very low speed. I certainly do not recommend people that don't have specific training uh, to use these electric files, but they can be wonderful if you are specifically trained. Mm -hmm. Oh, my apologies, Megan. Oh, Megan. Yeah, my OCD is making me a little cray cray in Australia. Megan is pronounced Megan. Oh. So, I learned something new today, and Marta came running in there with the drop on the uh, salonlife.ca oh, slash awesome. services for everybody. Thank you very much, Marta. We greatly appreciate it. It's Marta. Oh, for <laughs> F. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing people's names. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying it because I know she's Polish. So that's how you would, um, that's how you would pronounce it in Polish. But she's also English too. So, uh, so okay. <clears throat> uh, maybe Marta or the salon life will know. I have not seen anyone ask this before. Uh huh. Uh, I'm just kind of backing up a little bit, just trying to find what uh, Lori was asking. Uh, like hangnails or actual peels of top layer straight down the nail of the, but only along the sides. Oh dear, I feel I've I have missed something here. Oh boy. Like hard pieces? Yeah. There's... Oh, that's for uh, Lena's question, or Lena, Lena. Now I'm gonna be questioning if I'm like pronouncing people's names correctly. It's, I'm not gonna to sleep tonight. Um, about 30 new colors and the new base and top because of the lack of SDS sheets. Oh, this is coming from Baybed. Uh huh. So what about the uh, SDS um, sheets? Do you still recommend Erica files? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. And Mercedes comes flying in. Hit the like, please. Yes, please. Oh, thank you. If you guys would be so kind, if you do enjoy what you're watching, you enjoy the content, we would really appreciate if you would boop the like button and perhaps consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, no, so uh, someone was asking, yes, to subscribe. Uh, can you use Mavala under the Dazzle Dry? No, so this is what I recommend. If you need Mavala, <clears throat> which is a hardener, what I would recommend is you wear your nail polish for like six days or something, you mm -hmm. take off the nail polish and you have one day off with no nail polish. That's when you put the Mavala yeah. on your nails. Always take a break between nail polish. Yep. Especially when your nails, like if you're just wearing polish twice a year, then don't bother. But if you're wearing nail polish all the time, then definitely take breaks. Right. Oh, and for those who have shown curiosity over my tattoos on my hands, that shall remain a mystery. Yeah. I'll allow you to create whatever story you see fit towards them and what you think that they are and signify. Okay, so what are we gonna do on the nails? What do you guys wanna see? Black. 
black. Yes. Oh, we were supposed to try. Do you guys want to? Do you want me to try something? Oh uh, no, I just want the black. No, I know, but like black what? Because we already did the Douglas, Sir Douglas. Yeah. Have been a follower for years. It seems that MSL's ridges are so improved from when I started watching. Is it the camera or have the ridges all but disappeared? That's coming from Tina. Um, you know, this one seems a little bit better maybe, but I think they're the same. Let me see. No? Uh, maybe? No, they're the same, I would think. I'll be honest with you guys. These I ones, really don't pay attention to that stuff. And you these think ones I are should? better because I think this is why he has gel because this is what hap mm. uh, um, helps the, the horizontal ridges. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to do? Yeah. Oh, I usually press the like button before I start watching. That's called faith in us. Okay, what are we going to do? All right, let me just uh, roll back just a smidge. Um... I'm silly with my name since being a triplet oh, and getting called the wrong name all the time, let alone pronounced wrong. That's, oh. that's from Megan. So, and now you shall be called Megan. I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing correctly. Megan. Megan. Yes, indeed. Okay, look, this um, is 25 minutes. For all this. Mind you, we didn't have to do the thumbs, but mm -hmm. so what do we do? I never think to press the like button, so I become so engrossed in the lives that we'll definitely do so from now on. Well, thank you very much for that. That's coming from Beauty Addict 08. Uh, I graduated in 84. 84 was a good year. Oh, Babette. Babette? 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 Oh, thank you, Mercedes. Uh, Guys, <laughs> I believe you were a famous rock star undercover. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, what are we gonna do? Maybe. Babette. 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 Happy Monday. Oh, that's coming from Madison. Hi, Madison. Glad you could make it. A little late. That's okay. So, uh, if you guys ba missed it, bet. Ba -bet. this product removed amazingly. So, what are we gonna do? You wanna compare the manicurist to. I told my hubby I have to stay up. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it's I'm, only I'm, like 3.30 in the morning. I'm waiting for your suggestions, guys. I think everybody wishes to see... Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Where is it? No, but you already wishes had it. Wishes to see this again. It's such you a fantastic... Black. Color. Yes. Okay, but which black? What this options? One. The stay oh, black. I know. Black. Okay, hold on. Do you want us to compare the, the Dazzle Dry to this one? <gasps> huh? Better yet, why don't we, why don't we try... Mata, you know what? For 14 days, I really am a believer of not wearing polish that long okay. for an average you, person. You just stay right there. I'm going to go boogie on over here. <sighs> Give me a second here. Yeah, so, I mean, we can test it. Maybe next. Let me just see because there's like dirt here on this table. Oh, where is everything? A week, yeah. I say black because he wants black. Oh, so, so nice of you. What are you looking for? Okay, so what do you think? We should compare... This one. Okay, this one to what? Dazzle Dry? No, to the, uh, the Douglas. Okay, so what do you think? The Douglas to Dazzle Dry, manicures to Dazzle Dry, manicures and yeah. Douglas, okay. Okay, so hear me out, okay, guys. So these both applied the same, they both wore the same, they both removed the same. So I would love to see if in fact, when put head to head, how well one would do over the other. This is just... Okay. My so suggestion. So that's one option. Right. So, no, this is not a dark green. It's just a bottle because they, they are kind of, I hate to say it, they're kind of greenwashed. And I, this is the reason I, if I had a choice, I would buy this. If they had more colors, they only had 10, have 10 colors. Ah, it says up to 14 days. Okay. Um, and this is a very similar uh, product, <laughs> but they kind of really advertise it as like this super healthy i don't know we don't eat these things so it doesn't really matter well sometimes i do when i'm bored yeah but that explains my iq yeah <clears throat> but you know it's kind of I, I really don't like this type of advertising i really don't so i would rather if i had a choice i would buy this yeah. and it's also cheaper so this is 8.99 this is like 18.19 double well well not double but 10 10 euros more Mind you, you have more in this bottle mm -hmm. and 15 mils. This one is 10 mils, but who, who needs 15 mils of polish? I do. Whatever. 
So do you prefer normal nail polish smart. or gel polish? Um, it normal. really doesn't matter what I prefer, honestly. It, it really matters what the client wants. I'm looking at things from, from a client's perspective, what they are, what their lifestyle is like, if they want to uh, commit to coming back for a removal, how their nails are. So I don't think there is a perfect product that works for everyone. I think there are just oh, choices true. that we have, which is great. Um, and you know, not everybody needs that so dry. If you want like some really cool manicure for the weekend, this is very expensive. You don't need that. This is true. So, yeah. you know, there are just many, many different choices options options Lots like for example options. like if you're working in the industry and your hands are are you working with alcohol quite a bit or not drinking it but These you know working you then <clears throat> then uh, gel polish sometimes is better but mm -hmm. i don't recommend wearing it longer than maximum maximum two weeks gel polish mm. i've seen surface damage that's a drive versus douglas oh i we think have it's a lot a very... of people like you know dd versus douglas um, I did have Marta in my corner saying, you know, MSL sounds so excited. We got to give them this. I wanted to see how they like head to head matched up because they are so very similar in. I think next time we can do it. But I think a lot of people were asking for, and I was always saying that this is not a, a good comparison because this is a nail polish. This is a gel polish or like, yeah. no, a lot of people are asking for the shellac and the shellac is m more like a gel polish. This is more like a nail polish that's UV cured. And the Dazzle Dry is more like a nail polish. It's still not comparing apples to apples, but yep. this is also nitrocellulose free. This is not. So this can yellow the nails this, eventually. The overwhelming response in Dazzle Dry versus Douglas okay. is, yeah. is pretty big. So All right. uh, I don't do petties, tall chick with huge feet. I can't believe that one dog bite and I got to chuck about a dozen nail polishes, but they are two contrasts with Oh, I, th I, th I think you'll be all right. Listen, it, you got nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 ain't bad. You got 90%, you know? Like you can still pause it. And remember, I did have that suggestion that you could use a permanent marker. I mean, or you could have a fingernail tattooed on your stump and, and then just color it in, you know, with various paints or permanent markers or, or what have you. I'm not saying it's probably the healthiest choice, but there's options, right? Use a nail tab. <laughs> uh, Anna's just warming up the base coat for the Dazzle Dry, in case you're wondering where she just ran off to. Um, I have to say, I love watching live manis. It's my favorite. I prefer shellac, but I'll watch anything. It's so satisfying. Thank you, Madison. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, gel polish for basically a fast drying polish and DD is not available in Europe. Yes, unfortunately, this is true. DD is not available in Europe. Uh, my nail break more on my dominant hand. Should I apply more cuticle oil to the nails that break more frequently? Any other suggestions? Warm oil soaks. Warm oil soaks. Yeah, once a week. Yeah. There was a video about it. Canadian humor between Canadians. Yes, indeed. Huh? Okay, I have to put this in a, in a hot water. In a hot water. Just for the war uh, base coat to warm up. Uh, will we ever see MSL give Anna a manicure? Hard no. See what I have to put up with. No, no comment. So I'm gonna do the dazzle dry on this hand. There's so many things that happen behind, like behind the scenes, that if you only knew, you'd you'd be like, really, really. I don't know what you're talking about. You're feeling something. Coffee, snackies, foot rubs. Never happens. I'm new to uh, this year to this little community. So you guys are a couple of friends. Uh, uh, we kind of are trying to leave this, you know, out of the YouTube. I don't, what, 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 what? what? Okay, so. Uh, have you ever contaminated a bottle of Dazzle Dry base coat before? Finding it tricky not to. Mm, how would you contaminate it? Hmm. Still waiting for a 100k subscriber treat. MSL does a manicure for Anna. Marta, stop yourself. Yeah. Stop it. 
Uh, what can we do about toe fungus among us, please? Uh, go. We can't provide medical advice because I don't want to get sued. Yeah. And you know. See a doctor. Yeah, because we can't. We can't by law. Honestly, do any medical. Um, and the medical <laughs> advice. They're sworn enemies forced together through nail polish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A foot doctor is your friend. Indeed. Uh, will you be getting the new DD collection on the Friday release? No. Um, not anytime soon, probably, and it's not because we don't want to. Obviously, it's just the logistics of getting it here is the yeah, biggest someone problem. Someone has to. Oh, maybe David will come with David. Him. David. David. Brother. Yeah, bring us the dazzle dry. Yeah. I'll do your manicure. I'm going to say that the the tats honor people honor people special to you. Okay, so this is warm already. So the base coat has to be completely clear. I find the new base coat doesn't go really cloudy very fast. I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, I kind of noticed that it's... Uh, yeah, it really... kind of stays. Yeah. Okay, should I do like a full hand and then the other hand? Or how should I do this? Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, Martha had the best comment there. It's just like, they are sworn enemies forced together through nail polish. Like, that just made my day. That's like, like an 80s cartoon kind of thing mm -hmm. you'd, you'd hear, you know? So Love the base coat has to dry to like a matte finish. You don't want to be applying the polish over a top coat, sorry, over base coat that it's, uh, I do this because I have gloves on. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to make sure that this is dry. And also, very, very, very important. Take a look. Can you see how the edge here is still a little wet? Because when you are applying it, then the base coat kind of, there was more of the base coat on the edge. So you want to make sure that the edge will not um, be any more shiny when you're applying the color. Because if you apply, see this? <clears throat> this. When you apply a color over a wet patch like this, it's just going to pull the base coat. Not a good thing. Right. Okay, so on the other hand, we're gonna do the, the yeah. thing. Yeah, do the do 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 do. It's your mom, I made it, almost forgot a hello from California. Well, hello, it's your mom. Um, the camera's moving, no? Terribly. I haven't been paying attention to be perfectly honest, I'm reading comments. Uh, I'm confused, is a four in one same as the base coat or do I use both? What? What did you say? I'm confused. Is a four in one four same in one. as the base coat or do I use both? I don't understand. What? Forum? Four in one. Like four in one. What's four in one? I'm not sure, but I'm just reading you the question. Oh. I don't know. What do you mean by four in one? The stop it. Is that a fan under MSL's hands? No, actually, this is a vent that you see yeah. right here. So it's for when I'm. Uh, polish, oh, sorry, when I'm filing the nails, yeah. so I don't inhale the... the it's a filtration system. Yeah, HEPA. Yeah, uh, HEPA, HEPA. Don't, don't move your hands, yeah. please. I'm not okay, uh, something very, very important, guys. Always want to be sure that you don't touch the skin with the, with the base coat, mm -hmm. with any of the coats. So you want to be, you don't want to be flooding the skin. So you ha have to make sure that you're working slowly and you're not touching. You know who I haven't seen in a long time? Why? Lauren. Well, oh, no, yeah. actually, I've seen Lauren in the comment uh, yeah, section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. with him and I have to get caught up in the uh, emails. Mm -hmm. but, why? Uh, That's true. Yeah, I haven't seen why in a long time. Like, it's been at least a few weeks. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I hope she's okay. It's kind of weird. Um, okay, let me get back to... Uh, are you familiar with the Dashing Diva Glazed Nail Strips? Uh, no. Do you think they are easier on your nails than regular polish or gel? Sorry. No, not familiar. 
Imagining an MSL and Anna okay, cartoon. Here. <laughs> All right, here so we for go. For one minute. Yep. Just make sure you hold your hands correctly. So now this is very important how people hold their hands. Hold on. Flat. Actually, move your fingers up like this. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Heckins. Like this. What are you doing? Okay, make sure they're flat. They're flat. Okay. Yeah, don't put this thing on my thumb. I told you're... you they have such a big fingers. Big, yeah. What? Big fingers. Don't buy Dashing Diva Press on their crummy, okay. Um, I have Ingram toenails. What Sometimes they're not uh, a foot doctor, yeah. yeah Sometimes they're not ingrown, they're involuted. So they're like just very, very curved. And then they are just pressing into the skin and drives people crazy. But once there was redness infection, so they're ingrown in the skin, then we can't touch it because that's a medical thing. Yep. Okay, hold on. Uh, they are semi-cured gel stickers that have become very popular. Ah. Uh, if Dazzle Dry didn't exist, what would your go-to favorite nail polish brand be to work with? Ooh. Hmm. Probably Vinylux. Um, yeah. Do warm oil soaks eventually heal splits in nails? Well, the nails cannot heal because they're dead. So they will condition the nails. And yes, if they are conditioned, it's a combination of things, you know, when you want to condition something. So it just depends. So for example, if you have a piece of furniture then applying oil would help, but it depends if the, you know, if the furniture is outside or if it's inside, how, how much it rains, if it's really in the sun or if it's, you know, minus temperatures, whatever. So, or how much you're washing it. So it, it's, it's always a gray area. So definitely it will help. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most effective. That was my lamp. <laughs> One of the most effective things. Bang. Okay, so let's do the dazzle. Yeah. The razzle dazzle. Rest in peace, lamp. We hardly knew thee. Shit. <laughs> it was pretty cheap looking. Lordy, lordy. Um, I'm nervous about people toying with semi-cured gel yeah. like that, honestly, and they don't come with ingredients. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, just don't move now, okay? So Laura was saying that he has issue with um, with painting sometimes with dazzle dry because then it's difficult to to uh, clean it up. So I would keep it a little bit further away from the skin. He started using dazzle dry. You read that, no? What? Laurent. Yes, he's switched to the dark side now. Yeah. And David's going to be following mm -hmm. close behind. I'm very and excited. Make sure that you don't have so much on the brush. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite color of Dazzle Dry to wear, both of you guys? Actually, this is it. The one you're seeing yeah, applied, and that's my favorite. I probably, for me, it's on my toes, the Holly Berry. It's, it's a really good red. Mm -hmm. um, very, very good for the summer. And then perfectly plaid. It's also really, plaid. really plaid. It's plaid. Plaid. Uh, it's very good for the winter. A lot of clients here absolutely love that color. It's very, very popular. Do you want to know why? No. Because it's plaid. I don't want to know. And plaid is amazing in the wintertime. It's a Canadian thing. Okay. Um, I have a super slick technique for my nails. Use Elizabeth Arden gold face ceramide capsules on my face. Oh. So I apply it to my nails after I have done the Mabala and it dries. I yeah. massage it in with the nail beds. With the nail, in the nail plates, because you can't be, obviously, Correct. the nail beds are underneath. Okay, so someone has asked me, how long do I now have to dry this? So if I was polishing all 10 nails, by the time I'm done with the 10 nails, this one is going to be yeah. dry already. This okay. is almost a one coat yeah. mm -hmm. finish. It's it's amazing. Um, the ceramides and the Arden yeah. Advanced Gold Pods go onto my face, and my nails get the treatment, then I put oil on. Mm. That's... There yeah, you go. it's a ceramide oil though. Yeah, so if you use jojoba or something, very mm -hmm. good idea. Uh, menopausal nails, splitting, breaking, and lamination. What can I do? Get hormones. Get hormones. Uh, no. Okay, hold on a <laughs> second. Hold on, hold on. Don't move, don't move. No, I mean, I don't think there was anything really. I'm just going to shake it. You're going to put it in we the shaker? We can do. No, just like this. Uh. I don't think we can do anything uh, because what happens is the lack of estrogen changes 
the body, right? So right. we have to then, there was less oil production, there was less of everything. So um, you just have to take care, be that much more gentle with the nails and not over stripping them with, you know, um, soaps and things like that. There's really not that much uh, we can do. Just leave the nail polish for less, longer, and do more warm oil soaks. Mm -hmm. uh, anything I can do to help my nails not look so deformed while they grow up from being overfiled, like I can see a huge shift from the growth. No. Uh, Put some oil on, cover some. Yeah, and just, you yeah. know, just be along for the ride. Yeah, don't move. Looks like a bike ramp. <sighs> yeah. And I'm not moving. Yeah, you are. I am not. He's trying to... Laura, uh, He's trying to time. mess with me, so I make a mistake. Stop. On national what? TV. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? Yeah. I don't know what she's even... No, like, honestly, you're guys... You're moving, for I God's sake. I am not. How am I supposed to polish like this? What kind of, you know... You see what type of working conditions exactly. I have to deal with, guys? What kind of I have to deal with? Stop yourself. Okay. You're going to go pick up your broken lamp, the one that you just dropped down to try and, you know, gonna, cure... Hold on. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do this. Move away. What? People always do this. <laughs> Let me put the lamp down, and now put your hand under the lamp, because otherwise I'm going to hit your hand with the lamp. Are you done now? Okay, here. Okay, can I now? Please. Yeah? Yes. We're good? Yeah. Jesus. See what I have to deal with? Oh my god. Yeah, he's always not moving exactly. I... You guys see this. He's moving uh... as he's talking. People should learn not to talk when I'm polishing their nails. Because it's really difficult to get nail polish out of the skin. He's about to strangle me. Lord, is like, cheers, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> flat, exactly. Hold your hand flat. Your hand is not flat. Holy heckins, it is so. No. Stop it. Crazy woman. What a client, exactly. Megan, please. I'm stop. not getting. She's. she's I'm not getting paid for this. You are. Y'all need a hug. That's coming from Linda. <laughs> uh, is it okay to use different gel polish brands together? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't recommend it. Very unpredictable results. Okay, so let's see how the one coat looks. Versus one versus the other one. Can you see? What a, like the dazzle dry, looks, like one coat looks coat stronger. Is amazing, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, please move this hand. Yeah, you micro should... movements, yeah. You should just like not even think when I'm, you should like meditate when I'm doing your nails. <laughs> okay, now I moved. Can I try that again? Thank God I didn't drop this bottle. I'm a professional no, at this. don't, you know? please. This polish is worth like a lot of money. Don't mess with me. Don't breathe, I got told. And he's touching my phone. What? <laughs> touching phone? What? I... Okay, don't. Please, don't move. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone watched the video. Yeah. Oh, I made everybody jump okay. by the looks of it. Yeah, exactly. Frightening our audience. Keeps them on their toes. People are gonna unsubscribe wow. Wow. because of your behavior. I'm sure we've already had more than enough people unsubscribe <laughs> because of my unruly behavior, so I'm not too worried about it. No offense. Oh. Hey, don't mess with Anna, she will F you up. <laughs> uh, uh oh. All right, look, look at this, perfection. Okay, the other hand. I'm gonna double cure the, the black nail polish. Move it, please, away, yes. Mm-hmm, put your hand 
You know, it's black and... Uh, Gotta make these sure ones... that the penetration <laughs> is there. <laughs> uh, uh, hi from Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the hair clients do the same thing. They're moving and driving us nuts. And it's all, that's the spice that some subscribers can't handle. Yeah. Yep, yeah, pretty much. And that's okay. I'm not for everybody. Nobody's for everybody. No. You have to be who you are, blah, blah, whatever. It's true. <laughs> blah, blah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we love you personally, MSL. Don't ever change. Oh, I wasn't planning on it, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. It's getting worse. Oh, well. Life's too short. To be too serious, yeah. Well, be okay. yourself, blah, blah. Be yourself, blah, blah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So this is cured. The lamp is not dead. That's good. Um, oh, apple jam and PB. Oh. Uh, is there anything that can be done to make nails grow thicker? I have always had very thin, flexible nails. They rip. They don't break. My father's are exactly the same. Help. Sometimes, uh, no, because it's like, if we have fine hair, nothing is going to make our hair coarse and, cur and curly, for example, right? Like, to a degree, a lot of it is genetics. And mm -hmm. yes, the hair, I keep thinking, oh my God, I'm messing up. This is the dazzle dry side or something, but yeah. So a lot of it is, is genetics, but also a lot of it is how you care for, you know, your hair, for your nails. So I guess doing as much care as you can is a good idea, but knowing that there are limits. Um, I love your voice. Your voice makes the video fun and Anna is like the big sister giving all the best advice. Oh, thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you. Uh, best nail community. Man, we got like yeah, honestly, honestly, we got a super cool community. Guys, like I'm getting so many really, really nice comments. Yeah. Uh, that our you know videos are really helping. That people's nails are improving. Like this is such yeah. gratifying job. Like yes, we get some mean comments too, but I try to. Oh look, this is like you you can see through the ridge. Whoa. Yeah. It didn't do that last time. Like it actually fell away from Mount Ridgemore. Kind of, yeah. Okay, we're, we might be able to. Don't. What? What? Let me put the lamp God. down. And then put your hand in. Okay, the now. Yes, yes. How about now? Yeah. Now. Yes. Okay. Man. Have to make God, sure, so you know. Full of the llama drama, you know. Llama drama. Switch so many bad ways. I was taught are not corrected. Yeah, we all, I mean, looking at what I did in the past, thank God there was no, like, YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. I used to cut the skin, mix brands. What else did I do? But, you know, when you mixed brands, though, you actually wrote things down to see what worked for what client. Like, yeah, you were but very I'd, thorough about Okay, that. but that was, mm, in my, yes. But also, back when we were using the UV lamps, the traditional lamps. It was mm. different because those lamps, they kind of cured everything. True. Yeah. A llama is bigger than a frog. This is true. Uh, MSL, do you have long hair? <laughs> it's not gonna say. Uh, you might be correct. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, I have an idea of what you look like, but I could be so wrong. I can't imagine what many of you must think I look like. He looks like, uh, I'm just going to say, um, Joe Rogan. Kind of. In a very ugly kind of way. What, is he like good looking or something? Better looking than me. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <It's> just, <laughs> just giant hairy hand. <laughs> I can actually see that though. That's the funny part. 
Joe Rogan is very nice looking. No, he's not nice looking. I mean... Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just just a big ha like hand where my head is supposed to be. Just priceless. Okay. Uh, I'm suspecting that the old Monty Python humor doesn't play these days. Uh, they do around our house. Okay, so do I put another coat? Yes. Yes. Um... Yeah, Monty Python is is life. Like I, yeah. Okay, Eddie so I'm wiping this one. because uh, I have gloves on. Okay, so it covered. Can you see? Just one swipe. Mm. Um, okay, here, here. Yeah. Tell me when I would. Yeah. Can I now? Yes. Please. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, hello. I want to change the shape of the skin around my nail. I didn't I realize. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't really know anything. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. Goodness, hold Where's on. the top coat? Okay, now we have a problem. What's, what, 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 Where's what, what, the top coat? Top coat? Yeah, for the other one. Um, okay, what's this, this right here? This is base coat. Oh. I have a new one somewhere. Um, anyways, just Jessica Dawn. Let me try and get your comment out here this time. Uh, hello, I want to change the shape of the oh. skin around my nails. I don't really know anything about nail care until I started watching your channel and still have much to learn. How do I change this? Hmm. The, the skin around the nail. Um, well, if you take care of the skin on a regular basis, it does change a little bit, but a lot of it is genetic as well. Just... And I'm doing all my stupid comparisons, but it's just like the our hairline and things like that. You know, certain things you just cannot change. You can, you can um, improve what you have, but you can't change some of the things. I demand a shrubbery. <laughs> um. And so, does anyone ever recognize you in public by your tattoos and manis? Hard no. Yeah, we live in a small town, and people don't care about you do here. Yeah, which is great. <laughs> yeah, they don't understand the concept. You're, I mean, a lot of my clients, some yeah. some do. I'm kidding. It's not like we live, you know, under a rock or something. I thought played bro resemble, resembled Henry Rollins. I love Henry Rollins. I've, I've been following the guys for years, actually from a, a um, more of like a, a working out... Um, perspective, not even so much for Black Flag. But, okay, uh, so this is my, uh, I had a full bottle that I'm using, but I can't see it now. So this is an old bottle that it's pretty thin, but it's a little bit too thick. So what can happen with this, it might shrink a little bit. It is what it is. So if it shrinks, this is why it's because it's a little bit too thick and I don't have time to be messing with it mm. right now. Should I fix it? Okay, yeah. fixing it is. Um, hi, Anna and MSL, love you both. Uh, you make the videos so much fun. And of course, thanks to your personal advice, my nails and fingers are so much better now and still improving. Thank you so much, Esther. We greatly appreciate that. I thought, yeah. Um, a cross between Tommy Lee Jones and Bruce Willis with balding hair now. <laughs> That's how I got you. <laughs> kind of. And me. Tis but a scratch. Oh, this is great. Now we have like Monty Python like going through the comments. This is perfect. Uh, gotta run. The husband unit has arrived from our toasted That's tuna sandwiches and salad. Oh, God. Allison, have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you for hanging out with us. We greatly appreciate it. And I hope your salad finger improves in some sort of capacity. Okay, move your finger. I'm just going to put yeah. some drops in there. Because this is a little bit too thick. When Anna asks a question, she already knows the answer. <laughs> kind of like Chuck Norris, right? Um, and I find your comparisons the most helpful. You have a great talent for illustrating these nail health and appearance concepts. I've learned so much. Oh, that's Thank awesome. You for that. That's from the. Because I think sometimes it's a little annoying, but mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Uh, some said that family members and friends are the worst clients. My husband sitting in my dental chair is a full proof of it. He's simply the next level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have friends who are, they have professional practices and, and usually they've commented how their uh, spouses or family members are usually the worst no. to work on. So this is what I do, I roll it around to make yeah. sure that it mixes properly. 
I probably won't ever use Dazzle Dry because it seems too complicated. It's and, not really. It's just different. You have to learn it, yeah. but there are really uh, a lot it's of benefits really good. Yeah. to it. But it really, again, depends. Yeah. It's not really There's a bit of a learning curve in the beginning for sure, but, uh, you know, it, it it's all good. Uh, did I ask my question in time? Oh, Vicky, what question did you have, dear? What? I feel we may have skipped over it. Uh, what do you think of water-based polishes? Uh, they take forever to dry. Mm. And I just don't understand what the benefit is. Unless someone is, I guess, allergic or something. So they are from different... They're made with different ingredients. Oh, thank you, Martha. Greatly appreciated. Vicky asked, Hi, guys. Just watched your video on the nail tick issue on my thumbs. What type of nail glue should we use on natural nails? And could you show us... Um, show us how much and where to apply thank you uh it's going to be difficult for me to apply because i don't have that um, area to apply so normally when the nail is affected it has like a gap between actually well kind of on yours maybe so in that gap just just nail oil get a nail oil that usually comes in like a tube or something that has a little spout and just put like a bead of product. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to, because you're going to be replying, reapplying it. Okay. Um, so, I, I no, no, no. It's, I, I just need to put this on the side so oh, I can. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, that's dazzle dry. On. I don't need to try and cure the dazzle dry. Okay, here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I can use maybe like a cream or something to show you where to put it and how to put it. It's just in that, um, too bad I don't have, hold on, let me just show here. Let's say I would just hold the, the thumb like this and then just put a, a bead of product in there and just let it, don't do anything with it. Does that answer the question? Like, does that help? It makes sense in my head, but you know. Mm -hmm. I'm positive this would never turn out this well if I tried to do it with a family member. Never. It's it's kind of interesting the okay, that, that using concept. Top coat, yeah. It's uh, you know trying to give you know let it be fitness advice or even nutritional yeah. advice to family members. Uh, you know, speaking from experience, has has usually not went well. Yeah. Um, just like you know nail advice that just never seems to go over well but that's okay don't move i'm not moving yeah you do all right lord love a duck uh i've used sesh Vite as my go-to top coat for years is there anything newer better for that thick glossy look that dries as well slash doesn't crease Mm, just two layers of top coat, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, with such it, I I used it years and years ago, and it always shrunk on me. So I figured, okay, I'm gonna use it again to see if I if I can do. Forever to dry, like mm -hmm. forever. It doesn't dry like it doesn't dry. No, but it. I always found it such took a little. Beat? Yeah. And I mean, I'm speaking from my, my personal experience with the with the product, um, you know, as far as application is concerned. And well, it was... says five minutes, but it's in... I mean, some people really like it. Yeah. I, um, it shrinks terribly. I can't stand it. The five minutes I didn't feel to be accurate. You yeah. Know, maybe it was applied too thick. I don't know, but mm -hmm. it just took way too long. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. So the kind of glue acrylic nails, question mark. Glue that you would use on the tips, like a nail glue that you would use to glue the tips. So it would say nail glue. Yeah. That's what it has to say, yeah. like adhesive, nail glue. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look for some, um, ad, ad, um, maybe even like Beyond Polish has something like that. I'll mm -hmm. look for it, okay guys? Yeah. So, uh, and I'll put a link in that video. So if you can check maybe, like tomorrow or something. Um, any advice on how to, on how long to keep normal nail polish on the nails? What is the best for the nails? 
Um, it, it depends on the nails. Like some people can are okay with having the polish on for two weeks and then taking it off for one day and then reapplying it. The more I talk to people, the more I he hear people's feedback on this channel, especially too. I realize that for a lot of people, probably a week is a better idea every week. So let's say have the nail polish on for like six days, take it off, have it one day without a nail polish and then repolish the next day. Because even with Dazzle Dry, people go from not wearing anything to wearing Dazzle Dry all the time and then they get major surface damage and then they blame Dazzle Dry, but it's not, it's not because of Dazzle Dry, it's because it lasts so long mm -hmm. and anything that's glued on us to the surface of the, uh, the nail eventually can pull it up. So it's just like an old tape that is stuck to the wall. Like initially you can take it off, but eventually it gets more brittle and then it's difficult to get it off without damaging the surface. Mm. On the toes, I would say toes are a little bit different, but two weeks, three, four, five. But like for my clients that came every week, uh, sorry, my, more clients, uh, this is three minutes, right? Okay. Uh, clients that came every month, I told them to take the polish off like two days prior and put a lot of oil. And they were fine, usually. I only had two clients with some white spots, but nothing really major. Mm -hmm. Everybody else was fine. And no yellowing. Uh, not sure if this helps, but I've been doing mini silk wraps to fix a broken nail, and it uses a resin-based nail glue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only thing is you have to find, it's best to find something with like a, a applicator that you can apply like a, a very small line of product. You don't want to be brushing it on, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, uh, The Salon Life and MSL, you're welcome. No, the dry flowers should be fine for the oil. Uh, what is the best way to deal with vertical split nails, please? This is coming from Lemon. Well, I'm sorry, Lily Lemon Drop. It's usually due to dryness. <clears throat> so warm oil soaks. I know I always talk about the warm oil soaks, but there's nothing really else that works as well. Mm -hmm. And you just have to be more gentle. Let me just see. Uh, have you used Hold on, let me just, oh, yeah, finish. Um, so yeah, you just have to, if, if the, the nails are ridgy, there's nothing really you can do about the ridges. Um, but just condition the nails as much as you can. The warm oil socks probably would be the best, the best um, idea. Okay, so looking at the nails right now, I have to say I don't see any difference between between these two. They look the same, no? Actually, they do. I yeah. wouldn't even know that they were so, different products. Yeah. Truth be told. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how they look in a couple of days. I'll mm -hmm. be taking pictures and posting them on Instagram. Make it thumbs. Yeah, so we have a gel. So actually, I'm going to shorten them a little bit. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Your nails look very nice. Why, well, thank you. Can um, move this away? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Nika, what shade is this? Um, Black. Uh, does it dry? Yeah, just like what's the name, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, Midnight Express. And then the other one is... Stay Number Black. one. Yeah, but it's just stay black. Stay black. Yep. Uh, why are the thumbs not painted? Excellent question. We're just testing out product. Yeah, because we're testing out product. Yep. The gel, let's see how long it lasts, if I can file it. What a lovely, what lovely nails, what a perfect work, and I enjoy every Monday. And it's oh. coming from Lucy. Sorry. Thank you, Lucy. Oh. Greatly so, appreciate so kind. it. Uh, have oh, you wow. used Dazzle Dry top coat over any brand or another brand before? Yeah, no. it doesn't work. I have. Oh, I've have tried you? it, yeah, because oh. people ask me. Guys, I'm wrong. I'm but I haven't wrong. been using it because it doesn't work. Because the actual polish is quick drying as well, not just the top coat. I'm going on vacation, so won't be back until. 15th wow. oh. or until your 15th video okay like uh like may 15th oh yeah doesn't no dry. no no it dries it just doesn't dry in five minutes so it dries like regular top coat so like why would you waste such expensive top coat if it still does not dry in five minutes <laughs> david holy moly 15 past the hour lucy Shh. <laughs> Okay, so this is nice. Trust me, I've been watching the time, but uh, 
we were smart. We we uh, we got food before we started the live, so that you know. So you're not complaining that you're hungry. I'm hungry. Oh god. So the dazzle dry is dry already. Oh. Nearly four a.m. here. Oh my god, Jesus. Megan, you need Megan. 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 Uh, Megan, you need to go to sleep. That's so important. Muy importante. Mm -hmm. You won't be hangry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the other hand, please. Pretty rare when I get hangry, but uh, how many calories do you eat on the average MSL? Uh, right now about 3,000. Too much. He's a little chonky. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> We've been just kidding about it. So yeah. it's like an inside joke. But uh, yeah, about 3,000 calories, give or take uh, about 200. 200 <laughs> Uh, about 200 grams of protein. Um, I think I'm sitting around, you know, maybe with 400 grams of carbs, give or take, and then the remainder is, is made up in fat, which I keep at a low average rate just for, you know, proper hormonal balance. Why are you still laughing about the chonky thing? Stop. Yeah, that's what I say. So, okay, so. Because he's chonky, that's why. For <laughs> F, man, stop yourself. So when, when it comes to 200 grams, the reason I do this is it's at about a one-to-one -one ratio. It's like one gram per body pound. Um, <clears throat> now, when I am going through a massing phase, I will normally drop that down to about 0 0.8 per body pound, and then I will basically take what... As I drop that down, I will bring my carbohydrates up. But then when I'm actually starting to go through a, a, a cutting phase, I will then start manipulating where my uh, protein is dry, driven up to about a maximum of 1.2 grams per body pound. Okay, Give this is enough about you. Marta asked about the foodies. So I was just explaining about the foodies. Okay, so as you can see, you the dazzle dry, when you put the oil, is a little bit not as shiny. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's normal. It will get more shiny. I uh, know I'm chunky with beautiful hands. Yeah. Thanks to me. The beautiful hands, not chunkiness. Chunkiness is your fault. Messy and unprofessional. Uh, what is messy and professional? The manicure? I don't think so. I have used top coat, desert dry top coat uh, over, what was the question? Uh, I have used DD top coat over many other polishes and it has worked great, but remember that unless you polish underneath, it's dry. Yeah. It will not dry. The top coat will dry fast. Yeah. And yeah, what's on your nose? This is, I'm testing something that mm. burns to high heaven, which I'm not even going to talk about. And this is this one. The infinite rose this color it's actually really nice it's it's like the powder pink that i did in in dazzle dry hold on let me just see sure yeah you see it's very similar yeah this is discontinued unfortunately we did a video with this one and you have beautiful hands anna thank I you i like that color I actually oh, like it. Saying she likes that color on you as well. Thank you. And the rest is just clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess we're done. The nails are done. Maybe they're messy and unprofessional, but, you know, that's the best I can do. Okay. So what do you guys think? I don't see a big difference. Uh, bought the SE Speed Setter last week. Dries beautifully and yeah. quick, but polish chipped slightly after half a day. I damaged the nails though. Or I have damaged nails though. Okay, yeah. I found one of them shrunk a bit. Uh, quite a bit. The SE one of them. It 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 did feel they were dry to the touch after mm -hmm. a few minutes. Um, and the shrinking bothers me. So, okay. So, yeah, we have to run as well. 
Uh, but hopefully we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you want to see next week. So we'll try to make it happen. I kind of feel like buying more colors, but I should test it a little bit more, no? I like this product. What do you guys think? Yeah. Opacity for a second. I think the end, the drink, the, yeah. Um, so they might look a little bit different. They might wear it different. So please, I'm going to um, take pictures on and post them on Instagram. So check out our Instagram, the salon life dot, the salon life dot CA. Correct. Yeah. And we'll post the updates daily. Yes. All right. So guys, have yourself a yeah. wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we will be back doing our live next Monday at the same bat time, same bat channel. And Martha's asking the Douglas, I think it's one minute, but I double and triple cure it just to be sure. Mm -hmm. Because it also cures without a sticky coat. So you know yeah. how I feel the same as you <laughs> about the sticky coat. Megan, a nice well, or night well morning. Well, go get some sleep. Let's see what happened here. Hold on. Because I had the gloves on and the gloves are not very um, acetone proof, it, there was already, and I just did my nails. So we'll there was a, a little already like melting. Melting, area. melting. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much for spending your precious time with us. Thank you so much. Bye. Ciao. Bye bye.